I'm just thinking. Because I kind of, I, I mentioned this in the Patreon update. I, I'm having a hoot with these streams, but it's kind of taking up a lot of my time. And I want to make videos. Oh, wait, you're playing number eight? Wait, was that your first time playing Final Fantasy VIII? I thought you said that you were uh, playing seven. If I remember correctly. Wait, that's your first time? Did you, like, uh, what are, are you playing it on the PlayStation? Like, four or something? Like, how are you playing the game? Because I played it on the PlayStation 1. I have the disc and everything. Did you finish it already? Or not? You must explain. Hi, Featherhead. Yeah, we beat Crystalis. We did it, guys. We finished the game. You're playing on PlayStation 4? Wait, did you give up on Final Fantasy 7? <laughs> you don't believe me? Here's the screen. The end. Oh, you already finished seven? Oh, you replayed, uh... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. Or maybe I forgot. You gotta remind me. Was that your first time playing number seven as well? Or were you replaying number seven? The babe? The babe is a messiah? Apparently she was... I remember her from when we were playing like a few weeks ago. She's the lady that was kidnapped by, I guess, the final boss or something. The fourth guy or whatever. I forgot why. But I remember in the water place, like the water village. Oh, wait. When Do you remember when you started Final Fantasy VII for the first time? Yeah, I remember you told me... 10 you were replaying right as well oh the remake featherhead i forgot you were still are you enjoying it if you want like i have my full playthrough on youtube of the final fantasy 7 remake if you want to kind of play along together i guess i mean it's a recorded you know recorded from last year the streams but wait mods what do you mean like boob mods are you oh my lord i wouldn't be surprised the giant boob mod oh that wait what okay then what did you think of final fantasy 7 and you said number 10 was your first final fantasy right yo Hold on, I just gotta stand up because we've been sitting down. Ooh, ooh, that's my back. You had a hoot? Well, share. I need, I wanna know. Because <laughs> Final Fantasy VII was actually my first Final Fantasy. And the reason I got into the series is because of Sephiroth, the one winged angel. The theme song, right? It was awesome. I'm like, what is this metal magic? And then um, I looked up, you know, Sephiroth. I saw his beauty, his long hair, his black, like, outfit, that weapon he has, right? And then I was like, okay, I gotta play this game. And then I played it. I enjoyed it. Sephiroth won me over. And then after that, I think I played number eight. My friend warned me, though. My friend was like, uh, if you play number eight, make sure that 
<laughs> How many times did you die in the final battle? <laughs> this is, I guess, a story. <clears throat> Stats? Oh, you're doing like bootleg mods like that? That's hogwash. <laughs> uh, I'd recommend at least finding all the stuff at the head. The, uh, what is it called? Uh, the materia do the side quests and stuff it's really fun and it's like extra you know stuff it's easy to to that was legitness yeah it was, that was legitness um <laughs> i earned it <laughs> so i earned it oh my arms Wait, what do you mean three or four times? What does that mean? Like each time took like how long? Like three hours or something? Cause for me, <laughs> it took me a long time. Oh my god. I wish I had that recorded. I only have the final boss like when I first finished uh Final Fantasy Seven. Right? It took me a long time. Oh my word. Especially the arrange his items oh <laughs> i mean with those games it's you know you kind of need to have them arranged you know what i mean and by the time because i remember when i played it now if i go back to number seven i haven't played it in like a hundred years i wouldn't know where anything is right like you know it's not fresh but watching back my recording right i even remember uh you know you quickly you you know uh start uh item scroll down heal magic you know <laughs> you know what i mean trying to quickly press the button before you die even though i know you had to wait your turn but like i was playing like that <laughs> rarely fresh <laughs> that's how it goes <laughs> Um, but yeah, it took me a long time to finish, uh, Final Fantasy Seven, uh, the Sephiroth, like, final battle. Oh my word. All three. Was it three, right? Sephiroth had three, uh... No, yes? Three forms? He had that giant green thing, right? That green buff thing with that weird lady on his back then he had the one-winged angel with the cloud and number three was the naked one right am i correct the first one took me so long like i got so angry i remember this like i said that was one of the first games i streamed like so long ago oh wait Genova. I guess that wasn't that hard then. Safer Sephiroth was the green one, if I remember correctly, right? <laughs> I guess I don't remember the Genova battle then. It must have just whoop. The green one took me a hundred years. Like I'm, I, I'm telling you, I got so angry. I'm trying to finish this, and I'm like, you know, I got so mad. Oh my word. And then. And I, you know, I wasn't looking at the chat. Like, I was just kind of streaming just to stream. I didn't even kind of realize there was a chat, kind of. Right? I was just playing the game. And then either I... Either I looked it up or I checked. And somebody mentioned something like, Oh, um... I'd recommend using the... The... What was it called? Getting the materia. That does double damage or is it double no there's a red materia that does like two times the attack or something two or four i can't remember and i'm like why didn't i know this before <laughs> and i remember you know going back and looking for it and it was i remember exactly where it was it was underwater you had to go into a submarine or something and it was like underwater and there was the I forgot what it's called. Uh, 
the the secret the giant weapon like those giant monsters swimming underwater you had to go past that thing like not kill it but you know hopefully not get hit by it you go underneath and there's like a sunken submarine or something you go in there you go like into it and down the hall and right behind this table there's a materia right i was like you gutless turd like i remember going down there and i you know i i just went down there and i couldn't find anything i didn't know you had to like go behind a certain section after that it was a lot easier the wrong spot that's the green one right switch and kill both sides of him i think that's the green one i remember something like don't you do like his arms and whatever master materia what is that i know the the, the weapons are brutal like the giant uh monsters i tried once and it was like one hit kill 9999 i'm like i'm dead quadra slash i might have got i have like i said i have my ending uh saved on my website and then yeah that took me a long time like i said i was angry like i was getting so angry i wanted to finish the game and then I finally beat him and I like did a little dance. I'm like, yes, yeah. And then, you know, it was the actual battle with one wicked angel. I'm like, all right, I'm ready. And I kept getting bootlegged. Oh my dear God, the supernova. How many times did he use supernova on you? The, the fact that you have to sit there for like, what is it? 30 seconds while the entire universe explodes and all the planets. It was cool watching it, but watching it like five million times, I'm like, okay, just kill me already. It was like suspense, right? You know what I mean? So much like, I'm like, all right, am I going to die? Am I going to survive? Did I hopefully, you know, hopefully someone survives and I was able to heal or, you know, revive them Phoenix down or am I going to get bootlegged? A ribbon? That was my first Final Fantasy. I don't think I got a ribbon until Final Fantasy X. And that was my third one. I played 7, 8, and then 10. Right? Master Summon is one material that has all magic or summon magic. That's awesome. But yeah, that one kept bootlegging me. I'm like, you little turd! After doing that, so many, like I said, I wanted to like actually take the game and like either throw it out the window or like break it. And I remember I told myself after I finished the game, I remember saying, I'm never, you know, <laughs> I'm never playing Final Fantasy 7 again until maybe there's a remake announced. And then, like I said, that was maybe what, 10 years later or something, the remake was announced. We played it on the stream and it was awesome. And since then, it's a huge change. Now I've played a lot of Final Fantasies. I'm a fan of RPGs. That was the game that kind of turned me on RPGs. You know, before I was like, you know, I thought they were all like Pokemon and I didn't really like that. And it kind of is. <laughs> it's still like, what is it called? Not action RPG, but the uh, where you take turns. I don't mind that now right but it, it does sometimes you know take a while tactical is that what it's called here let me look at my ending though i'm curious if if you want to see my levels or whatever when i finish the game i can show you <laughs> i can share if you want to see oh, that's why i have my website i have it all all saved oh turn-based yeah I, I thought all RPGs were like that. And I didn't like that. Like, Pokemon, the whole random encounters, and... And I know the original Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest and whatever are like that. Right? That was kind of the thing back in the day, but... You know how it be. 
But yeah, after I finished 7, because I, I was talking to a pal, my pal introduced me to Final Fantasy and Silent Hill and then Sailor Moon. That's how I got into streaming. Because my pal lived, you know, in a different country. And I'm like, how do we, how do I share games <laughs> so you can watch too? And then I discovered Justin TV. I made an account. And then, uh, what is it called? And then, like, a few months later, it became twitch.tv. And so, fun fact, my account is older than Twitch, basically, <laughs> because of that, which is kind of cool. It'd be nice if, you know, there's like a billion people here. All the hours I spent streaming and, you know, doing what I do, of course. <clears throat> but maybe one day. Maybe one day, hopefully soon. <laughs> it's kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics. What is it called? Mystic Quest is your first Final Fantasy. I haven't played that one yet. I do have it though. Like I got it um, at a thrift store a million years ago from some old guy. I don't know if it was like, either he was selling it for five or $10, right? And it was a steal of a deal. It was Mystic Quest. I took like all his Super Nintendo games because they were, you know, Mystic Quest, Secret of Evermore, Secret of Mana, uh, Illusion of Gaia, Super Punch Out. I don't know if that was all of them. Maybe there was one more. more? I can't remember. But like five, I think it was ten dollars. Maybe I think I'm going to say ten. $10 for those games, right? <laughs> I hope, oh, and Final Fantasy VI, or I guess three on the Super Nintendo, which I actually have right there in the box, right there. <laughs> I see it from here. I hope they still work though, because we moved and everything and everything was in boxes in storage and you know, summer and winter, I hope. You know, the cartridges still work and stuff because that would make me sad if my, you know, my saves and whatever don't work. Sega Mercenaries, Sega Chronicles. We can take a yonder. Oh, but yeah, what did you think of number seven? The characters, the story. All that stuff. And then how far are you in number eight? Number eight is like different. A lot of people don't like it. Oh, I've always wanted to play Tactics Ogre. Just never really found the time. And then also Final Fantasy Tactics. I always hear that's a good one. I have that one too. On the PlayStation 1. Just never got around to it. <laughs> you liked it. Oh, we need details. Did you know about Eris? Oh, my friend basically said uh, she could never finish Final Fantasy VIII uh, because the final boss was too hard. <clears throat> And she said that the game is kind of bootleg because the enemies level up with you. So as your characters level up, they level up too. To make it kind of like balanced out, right? And I'm like, I was like, oh, uh, okay, that sounds hogwash. And f <laughs> so my entire playthrough of Final Fantasy VIII, I, pl I watched like a guide and I played the entire game and what is it called? Uh, I kept everyone at the lowest level and that was a very hard thing to do. <laughs> it was very difficult. Basically, I used stone to put all the enemies into stone or I captured like all the human enemies. I turned them into stone and ran away so I don't get any XP. 
and then all the like demons or whatever i used i forgot what his name was it was like a green the gf your guardian or whatever i just remember gf because like i always thought it was girlfriend but the gfs are like your your summons or something the green lizard one he had a power where he can turn uh, monsters into cards. And if you turn monsters into cards, you can use them in Triple Triad. I never liked Triple Triad or the card games in Final Fantasy. But maybe you will. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I can check it right now. Final. Final, final, final. Oh, there it is. All right, Final Fantasy VII. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah, Quizzle, Quizzle, Cuddle, maybe. I'm not sure. No, the gu I I've heard the opposite. The games are awesome. Apparently, it's just I can't get into it. It was just you know, I just wanted to play the main game. People say it's awesome though. I guess once you figure out all the whole learning curve and everything, but yeah. Oh no. <laughs> all right, I think, I don't know if this is, is it public? Oh, it is, okay. So here's my ending of Final Fantasy VII. I recorded this on the v VHS, VCR, VHS. Because that's all I had. Even though I should have maybe used DVDs. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, why can't I see? Oh. Uh, okay, so Cloud was the only one at level. <laughs> I made sure I had everything 9,999, right? I'm like, all right, as long as Cloud survives, that's all that matters. Okay, I had two times cut. You see that? So this is how I played it. You see, you see the speed? I was <laughs> full speed choosing the items because at this point, I don't know how long I tried to already take out Sephiroth. I'm just going. I'm like... <laughs> Right, trying to do as many attacks as I can. Oh my word. I uploaded this in 2016, but it was recorded in like... I don't actually remember. Like 2012, I would say. Oh, I have some fun facts. Oh, Cloud was level 72. Playtime, about 46 hours and 30 minutes. August 2012 to September 30, 2012. So yeah. Who's <laughs> trying so hard? They died. Then they got turned into frogs, right? They get turned into frogs. I was like, you, why? How could you? <laughs> it's all coming back to me. The PTSD. All that PTSD is coming back to me. The frogs. Oh my Lord. You see it in here somewhere too. I kept healing. I'm like, heal, please. Can't reach. How? How can you not reach the attack? He's right there. <laughs> like 73? Yeah, so we were like the same, basically. Oh my word. And like I said, I had him, like all the materia. I think at the end I might show my stuff. The frog spell was horrible. <laughs> I think Sid might have been the one who did the final attack. And then, here you go, Supernova. And you can hear me internally screaming. Or, I mean, I guess I was screaming. I didn't have a microphone, but I'm like, no, no. <laughs> and I was just waiting. I'm like, I'm like, please. You know, I'm praying to Jesus. I'm like, please, please. Right? Because it says wait. It says wait. Wait for your turn. I'm like, please, please, please. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't kill me. I don't think the ending is uh, cut correctly. This might be a few attempts, actually. But... <laughs> it is what it is. 
Pluto. No wonder Pluto's no longer a planet, right? Got exploded. And like I said, it's cool, but like, you know, like that's awesome. Like the first time I saw this, I'm like, what? But then the 50 millionth time you see this, I'm like, I'm like, please, no. It's a booty hole. <laughs> Jesus. I haven't watched this in years. <laughs> but yeah, I still have my original tape, my VHS tape. So if I have a better, uh, once I get an upscaler, I would like to one day, but they're just really expensive. Like professional upscalers that can like, you know, upgrade, you know, retro games and like VHS and whatever. It will probably be a little bit better quality, but you know, it is what it is. They're just like a million dollars. It's not 720. It's like 360 or 480. I just re-rendered it at 720. <laughs> and I'm like, how are you alive? They just came behind you. How are you still alive? But yeah, maybe one day. Once the boys help me out in Patreon, of course. And my YouTube videos do well. Maybe one day. Look at that. I'm like, oh dear God, they're alive. They're actually alive. I was like dancing. I'm like, yes, yes. And then look at that speed. Look at that speed. <laughs> speed. Because <laughs> you have barely any time. If you don't go full speed, he's going to do it again. Look at that. Upside down. Body slam. To kill three people. Yep. I mean, it was for a really long time until I... He dropped a rock on you! That asteroid just one hit killed Sid right there. Where did that even come from? I guess you're in space. My word. I was playing on the original PlayStation 1 on my beautiful, you know, square TV, which you see in the Crash uh, Bandicoot review. It brings me a little tear. I had to throw that out when we were moving. I, w I wish I didn't, but I had to. I had no choice. Why do I have a battle scar? It was like 200 pounds or something, or 180. We had a shifty tea and I had to bring it down the stairs and then throw it out. And by the next day, it was snowing and everything. And the next day, it was already gone. Somebody took it. And I know it was heavy and stuff, but like, I wish I kept it. It was my boy. It was so nice to look. I'm still, you know, I'm still looking for another, like, old kind of TV like that. Hopefully not, you know, fat. Or, like I said, an upscaler basically does, you know, upscaler uh, makes these old consoles and everything. As long as you have the correct cables, look super slick on modern TVs or monitors without like, you know, input lag and stuff. They're just kind of expensive, like $300 or more. And like I said, I really, you know, I'd really like to get one for, you know, I want to make videos on my old consoles and games. It just, I don't want to record it with, you know, everything looking fuzzy or pointing my camera at the screen. Look, he just did another one. But yeah. If you want to see that ending, it's just a game. It's nothing, no commentary. That's all on my, my channel, my second channel. Oh, me? Yeah, I'm using, I'm trying to use my, you know. Oh, or are you talking about Sephiroth? I was trying to summon all my people and everything. Is he here? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm throwing everything I can. I'm like, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Look, he somehow even blows up the whole earth or what? Or I guess the laser comes down. I thought we were in space somehow. I don't even know. Bahamuth is awesome. Well, I was calling Behemoth. <laughs> That's my computer's name, fun fact. I named it after this, uh, the character Monster Dragon. 
Can't reach. How do you not reach? It's right there. But yeah. And then at this part, right? When I finally killed him, I'm telling you, I was like, at this point, I was glued to this PlayStation 1 controller. I was like not moving and I'm watching, right? I was barely breathing. I'm like watching very closely, right? And I was re like, hold on, I'm just going to skip around. <laughs> of course, he does another right there. <laughs> oh my God, when that happened, the flash, I remember. Where is it? Was it Sid or Cloud? I think it was Sid, but I could be wrong. I'm over here clicking. I'm waiting. I'm like, what's going on? What's happening? And then I see the flash. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, did it? Is he, is he dead? Oh, and I'm sitting there like, oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm holding this controller. I'm not letting go. Cause I'm like, I swear you're going to bootleg me. This is a trick. You're lying to me. I have limit on all characters. I'm waiting. I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> and then I see him slowly disappear. Fire three took him out. And like I said, I'm sitting there, right? The whole cutscene, everything happens. And then this, and I'm like, what's happening? What is this? What is this? I'm, I'm like I said, I'm sitting like, and I'm like, wait, why is he shirtless? <laughs> I was like, Sephiroth, <laughs> why are you shirtless? And then I see this, the meter. And I'm like, I'm like, oh God, it's not over. Oh God. Oh God. You should have seen me. E oh my Lord. I spammed the X button so fast so fast i didn't even have a chance to let him attack or anything i'm just like <laughs> so fast i clicked and i'm clicking this entire the whole time i'm pressing x i know it doesn't do anything but i'm just like i'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. right eight thousand nine thousand nine thousand nine thousand i'm like yeah. <laughs> oh my come on <laughs> and i'm just holding I'm like come on and I'm sp the whole time, even after this cutscene, I'm just pressing X. I'm like, come on! <laughs> I'm telling you. And then, and then I'm like, I think it's over. And I, I was still holding the controller. I'm telling you, I remember that. Like, cause it was evil. That whole battle took me so long. Oh my, and then, oh my word. I think the moment I saw the cutscene, wait, what was, oh. Subtitles. The moment I started seeing the, uh, where is it? The credits. I kind of finally put it down <laughs> and I was like, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. It's over guys. Guys, I did it. Oh my God. You panicked. Yep. I panicked too. Cause I'm like, you don't do this to me, man. I, I had enough, please. And there you go. And there's my ending of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Narrated. Uh, I have my, I still have my save backed up and everything. It's right here, actually. <laughs> That's my save file right there. I guess I don't remember if I went into the game. Did I do this or did I share this on Twitter? I might have actually shared it on Twitter. I don't know why it's not on my website though. Here, let me check Twitter. Twitter. I think I actually took a picture of the, um, my final stats, but I could be wrong. Like, I think this was on the anniversary or something. I went back and... I'm actually curious. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, that's my story with Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> it was intense. Uh, it was very intense. <laughs> I had fun, though.
Okay, let's see. Happy fee. Doop, doop. Oh, I forgot to mention the pumpkin. I was going to do one more update for the pumpkin, the Metroid pumpkin. Because it's, you know, the snow disappeared. <clears throat> uh, I saw it, right? Like when I went strolling, I saw it there. The pumpkin was there. And then the next day, uh, you know, we were doing some stuff outside, like garden stuff. And someone threw it out. Someone threw the pumpkin out. I wanted to take a picture or, you know, like, but I didn't know they were throwing it out. So I'm like, you little turd. Why would you do that? How could you? Oh, there it is. There's my stats. I'm telling you, the song is awesome. That's what got me into the whole franchise. <laughs> Here's my stats, if you're wondering. How do I... I don't know how to zoom in. Eh. Eh. There you go. If you want to see it's on Twitter. I can send a link if anything. If you are curious. Or you want a closer look, of course. I think I did that for the other ones too but I can't remember it's been a while where is the chat There you go. If you are curious, you can look at it there. But yeah, that's all my, my final stats, I guess. I don't know. Did I look through for Barrett and all the other characters or no? I don't remember. I guess not. But yeah, that's... <laughs> there you go. And then number eight. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not going to show the final, <clears throat> the final battle. I'll just show my, like a picture of my final stats. Because it's kind of funny. Where is the... What does that say? 65 hours and 46 minutes before the boss. <laughs> Is what I had in number 8. And then the thing might be on Twitter too? on Twitter or maybe not and... hmm oh or maybe it's the thumbnail hold on I'm trying to check I'm thinking I know I Maybe I never edited it. Edited it, 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 it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how to show this. Here, I got this. Do, 
do 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 I'll take a screenshot. And hopefully it doesn't show anything. Or maybe I can just say it. I don't think you want to know the characters' names or something. Basically, I'll just say Squall is the main character. So, <laughs> uh, if you want to see Featherhead, I'll send it in the link in the chat. If you want to see. And then, you know, you don't have to click on that, Ryan. But basically, Squall is at level 8 after 65 hours of playing the game. Whereas, Cloud is at se level 72. <laughs> I kept <laughs> Squall at level 8. I, I think I leveled up like maybe 3 times. Because there's certain uh, boss or enemies or bosses where you can't skip or you know like i said i i was kind of doing my best there you go featherhead you can take yonder at that oh okay uh then i can share zell for me is also level eight and selfie is at level 10. so eight eight and ten <laughs> Squall has over, he has the max amount of HP, right? 9,999. Zell has only 544. <laughs> it looks like I have everything or most of the magic all the way up to 100, which is kind of cool. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot. But yeah, uh, level eight, that's insane. That's very low. Basically, it's all I, you know, I guess that's all you need to know. But good luck on Final Fantasy VIII. I liked it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, and then one more thing. What was that game Featherhead was playing? Mercenaries Sega Chronicles. Sega or Saga? Chronicles. But yeah, that's a, there's my story for, you know, Final Fantasy. I wasn't expecting to kind of get into it like that, but there you go. Maybe, you know, one day. I would love to maybe make a review on the games. That'd be awesome. It's just like I said, I need, you know, Patreon boys. If you want to help, that would mean a lot. Um, I need the shelves finished and all that stuff. All right. I don't think I've heard of this game. Hopefully you can hear the music. Yeah, that does look like Final Fantasy Tactics. Every time I see the isometric view like this, like that top-down angle, that's usually what people say is Final Fantasy Tactics. <gasps> Excuse me. Beepies. Isn't, um, I forgot what that game was called. <laughs> what is this name? Mercenary Saga. What Will of the White Lions. Wait, no, isn't... Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Let me check the... Are you telling me comments are turned off? Really? Hold on, hold on. I have a feeling... I have a very suspicious feeling that maybe... The developers of this game... We're behind uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Yup, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Because I remember hearing something about that a while ago. 
Final Fantasy Tactics spiritual successor. Apparently. That's awesome. I'm guessing they made a Kickstarter or something. Wikipedia. Oh, there's a sequel? Featherhead, there's an entire... Oh, what the turd? Wait. I don't know, Featherhead said he has... I think he said he has this, right? That's number one, two, and three. That's cool. I didn't know there's three. Okay, I'm not seeing any fun facts here, but whatever. <laughs> well, there you go. That's that. Thank you for watching, ladies and turds. Basically, Featherhead and Ryan. Nice chatting with you about Final Fantasy and RPGs, of course. I love RPGs. Um, they're a lot of fun. But nowadays, I would much rather... If I'm playing an RPG or a game that's, you know, long, I'd rather maybe just play on my own, right? And take notes and then at least turn that into a video or something. So I get something, you know, something else out of it too. You know, that'd be kind of fun. Where streaming is completely different. If I try to stream like a full long RPG, it took me like two years to finish Breath of the Wild, right? Because I was streaming it, like I streamed the entire game from start to finish, all of my all, uh, my entire experience, start to finish, and it took me two years, two hundred hours, you know, to finish that. So that's hardcore. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you next time on Thursday, which is apparently Mario Day, March ten. So we might play uh, Mario Sunshine and maybe finish that on Thursday and then save uh, Sonic Adventure for Saturday. Because I think I think we we have one more thing to do in Mario Sunshine and we beat the game. So I might as well do it on Mario Day. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, thank you again for watching. Uh, if there's anyone else watching, feel free to support my cheeks on all these places of course and i will see you all next time toodles everyone adios it was nice chatting with you all Deadly. Deadly. if i were to like replay you know like i said some of the final fantasies like seven eight 9, 10, 12 I need to play. Um, it would probably be the Switch versions. <laughs> right? The remasters on the Switch. Because it's portable. The thing that'd be awesome is if I can somehow transfer my save. Right? Or maybe convert my save from the PlayStation 2 version over to like the remasters. So that way at least I have my save on there too. That'd be awesome. Like my original one. But I don't think that's possible. Anyways, Tails, I'm talking too much. Adios, everyone. Bye-bye.